Greetings, this is Daniel Persado for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, and today we're going to look at materials and UVs. This is part three video, I believe, of going into materials and whatnot. And we're going to look at painting on this head and the UV materials and, and what that all means and how to find them in Photoshop. Before I do that, let's look at UVs very quickly. I, I grabbed this image from Wikipedia, if you just search for UVs. And you'll see a 3D model, there's a UV map, here's a texture map that's mapped onto this. And the UVs basically provide the information that will place this texture, it, as you can see it's applied on this UV here, on the model. It, it shows it where it is to be applied or wrapped around your 3D object, and that's what UV maps do. So let's go back here. We're looking at this Lego man, his cool little Lego figure here and we're gonna paint some something on his head here now I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that right now I'm just gonna do a dot here dot here and there you go now where has this been applied let's open the texture and I'm going to uh, arrange my workspace accordingly here let's slide him around and close that and you can see that there's a face in the middle of this map here Let's back up a little bit and so the full texture here. Now you can look at the UVs on your layer here by going to the 3D menu, create paint overlay, and you'll see wireframe. And it will show you exactly where these things mapped onto the object. Let's zoom in a little bit. And you can see that it generated a new layer with the wireframe. You can see it turn it on and off. I could even save this, and you can see that it is applied because it's just another layer another texture, another painting on top of the object here and it's saved. I'm going to turn that, save that with it off again. Let's turn it back on briefly here. And you can paint on this as well. I'm not going to paint directly on the map because I may use it later, but you can paint still on here and have those images saved over there. Again, I should just turn it off to make it look better. There we go. And one more thing, if you turn off all your active layers and you try to paint on your object, Let's save that. Photoshop's going to tell you you could not edit the texture directly. Please open the textures and choose a target layer. So, if we go back to our layer here, you'll see that there's nothing for Photoshop to paint on. There's, these are off. So either you have to turn these on, create a new layer, so that the paint can fall on a layer. So if you see that message, that's what it's about. And I want to show you one more thing here. So, let's close this. And what happens if I paint on the center here? You're going to see some very interesting effects. There's some really bad paint falling here. And it's going to, I'm going to say continue to paint on this. Sometimes you come across 3D models. They don't have the best UVs, meaning they haven't been properly wrapped. And a lot of free models come like this. So don't be surprised if sometimes you paint on objects that they don't look really wonderful. <laughs> and um, I love change that texture to art. Let's turn that back on. See, I kept falling into that trap. So there is a workaround to this, but it, it is a, a very last resort kind of workaround. You can go to 3D and you can choose reparameterize the UVs. And what it will do will blow away the UVs that came with the object and create new ones inside Photoshop. And I'll say Okay, let's do it. You can do fewer seams or lower distortion. I'm just going to say lower distortion this time around. And everything's gone. Or it's actually been remapped. It's not gone, but the UVs are gone. So if I open this up again, this is still here, but if we go back to 3D, create paint overlay, let's find out where those UVs are. They're down here. They've been simplified and they're down here. So the face, I think the face is actually here. So I put a dot here and a dot here. Let's, let's tile here and get an idea and save this and you can see that is actually the, the head there so you can see the value of overlays and wireframes and, the, and seeing the UV overlays you can paint them, you can find out where to paint them it's very useful if you have any questions, comments, uh, please respond and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can thanks